I'm Sammy. This video is about this Aries full moon. Okay, let's talk about it. I'm gonna light this because it's been a minute since I saved my room. Don't mind me. Today's October 19th. Full moon will come into full effect in Aries. <coughs> hey! Not up in here! This is why we can't make videos. This is why we can't have nice things. Anyway. So everyone's feeling this Aries energy, obviously. Even my dogs are up in a tizzy. They're always barking, so that's a lie. But this comes into full effect tomorrow morning on the 20th at 7 a.m. Pacific. 10 a.m. Eastern, I think. So we're already feeling this. This started yesterday, especially now that Mercury's direct, hallelujah. Jupiter's direct, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Phew, that was a rough patch. Those, I think it was six planets in retrograde wasn't great so now here we are i'm going to pull some cards for this energy but first i want to talk about it aries is the initiator it's the motivator aries comes in and kicks ass aries is a high energy ruled by mars so hypersexual more passionate more aggressive even more violent at times so this energy can be harsh for people who are not used to Aries energy. I, myself, have an Aries moon. So I'm loving this energy. I'm feeling very motivated. I want to get out and just walk around and run and ride a bike and be very physical. And I'm thinking of things, I'm organizing things, I'm writing down um, how I want to break down my day from now on, just really nailing it home with a time management. You should do that too. We're making big changes. So you should already kind of have an idea of what, what you're changing, what you're wanting to change. Things are falling away. Things that aren't meant for you. And at the same time, we have Mars in opposition to this moon in Libra. So Mars doesn't like to be in Libra. Mars wants to be where the moon is in Aries. Mars is comfortable there. Mars wants to take action. And Libra is more balancing the scales, wants to figure it out, look from every perspective, uh, thinking about social justice. Is it fair for everyone? That sort of thing. It wants to take action, but it's kind of stuck in Libra. You're still going to have to make a choice here. And this moon, I think, is going to help that final push to just really make you do it. And if you don't, the universe may already be doing it for you. Taking things out of your life. Things that are unnecessary. Things that cause you harm. Things that you've held on to that were toxic, like relationships, dead-end jobs. Things that don't feel good. They feel icky. And those things are being picked off. So whether the universe is doing it or you're deciding and letting those things go, it's happening now and it is for the better. And it may feel harsh and it may feel hard and it may bring up some um, conversations that need to be had. Mercury being direct now, we're still in the post shadow phase, but it will be better communication wise than it was for the last three to six weeks, five weeks. Make sure you're still speaking clearly. Stand up for yourself, no doubt, okay? And I, I wanna hit on that too because I saw, a, I saw a really great meme the other day and it, it had a picture of Russell Crowe when he was in 300 or Gladiator, 300? Was Russell Crowe in 300? No, that was Gerard Butler. Anyways, it's a gladiator guy, and he's like, he's like, Argh! like wants to fight, you know, he's going into battle. And then next to it is like this little human aura being with the chakras, you know the one, just like sitting in meditation pose. 
So it was saying on the meme, you can be both. You can be a warrior for the light. You don't have to feel like just because you're spiritual or open-minded or more compassionate or empathetic or loving or accepting or aware of your surroundings or just better all around. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't have to feel like you can't speak up for yourself or you can't make some noise every now and then or create conflict if it means standing up for yourself. Um, by no means should we be letting people walk all over us. This is not the time to be passive. This is the time to stand up for yourself for humanity as a whole, whatever it is that you're fighting for, okay? Being that you're fighting for what you know in, innately and in, in through your intuition. We're not fighting for worldly things. We're not fighting for anything but personal freedom, sovereignty, your rights, your faith, your God, whatever it is, goodness for humanity, equality for humanity, for whatever it is you want to do, or be, or say, or wherever you want to go, or whoever you want to worship, or love, or whatever, right? But is there a choice? That's the thing. Fighting for your sovereignty, standing up for what you believe in, now is the most perfect time and this Aries moon has just got me so energetic and I hope you feel this too. We're going to be feeling this until the 22nd which is this Friday. You may even uh, feel it a little bit later especially if you're highly sensitive or if you have an Aries moon like me or Aries sun or rising for that matter or any major Aries placements. Uh, if you want to know for certain if you have anything conjuncting this moon it's going to be in the 27th degree of Aries so check your chart see where that falls what house it falls in and that will be the aspect of your life where you will feel it most where the changes need to be made um, or where things are coming or going from your life okay check your birth chart it's free it's free online and it's easy to do and I say that every time and nobody believes me but if you want a more uh, in-depth interpretation you can always email me and I will help you out okay um, or email me if you want to book a reading or any of that I'm here to do that so let's pull some cards I'm very excited about this moon Mars is in opposition so there are some challenges there are some things that maybe don't feel good about it, it feels harsh or things that you love are falling away but it's really not what's best for you in the long run so Aries is here to give this push, this new project, this new beginning. We get to start all over and it really does feel like the new year energy. You know, Aries is the beginning sign, it's the baby sign. It's the starting over point for the zodiac. So this is the time where we have a huge push of energy from Aries to get something going. What projects are you working on? What do you feel motivated to work towards? who's entering your life at this time. And even if you don't recognize this energy now, even if you don't feel like, like Sam, there's no major changes happening in my life right now. Okay, but give it a few months, six months from now, when we come back to this place, when we have the new moon here in Aries, you can look back at this time and you'll see and you'll notice what was shifting in your life, what changed, what started off. We're kicking it off, okay? This is like football, new year, whatever. We're kicking it off right now. What are you working on? What do you want for yourself in your future? What are we working towards for humanity as a whole? I want to keep this video short. So I just want to get some cards from Spirit. I hope you guys feel this energy. I know that you must because I've been feeling it for days. Days and days prior. What? We're not going to take this. I was drawn to these cards. I'm usually not drawn to these cards. 
But also, to my point before, look at Michael here with his sword, okay? So, angels make moves. They don't just slay people for no reason, but they stand up for what they believe in, okay? I'm just saying, just because you're spiritual doesn't mean you can't fight for something. We can bust some heads. That's what I'm saying. The star. Aquarian energy. And we do have Jupiter just now returning to Aquarius where Saturn is. So this is Archangel Joe Feels card. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So I do feel like something is ending. This could have been something that you cherished or thought that was meant for you that you're realizing isn't, wasn't. So it may be difficult to end the situation or it may be that it was difficult and now it's ending. So we're letting go of people who we don't want to, no negative Nancy's, not up in here. We don't want any drama. We don't want anyone telling us what we have to do, right? Overly bearing, overly controlling. No, no, no. We're going to be running shit from here on out and that's how it's going to be. Okay, light workers, it's time to stand up. We're rising up. We've been under this gross, oppressive energy all year. And <laughs> this is the time where all these planets are coming back direct, where things start to get moving again. So what are we going to do with this momentum? See what I'm saying? It's like a ball of energy. And we've got it right here now. So where are you putting that? Also, I was thinking about this this powerlessness that we've been feeling over the last few months. This feeling that we have no control over our surroundings or we're just little old me. I can't do anything about it. And I hear that all the time. And I just want to let you know, if you know somebody who says that, that's a cop out. That's an excuse. I don't like that. And if you say that, you better stop it right now. I, what am I going to do about it? I can't do anything about it. I'm powerless to do anything about it, so I'd just rather not know that. Those are the ones. Complicit. You cannot put your head in the sand. Okay? Become aware of your surroundings. Start learning new skills. Okay? We've got supply issues happening. We've been warned of this from our own administrations months ago. A lot of issues coming. A lot of stuff this winter. You don't know. Make sure you have a lot of blankets, candles, batteries, water, food. Prepare yourself and your families. Okay, that's real. Learn how to grow food. That's real. That's value. I talked about it in the last video. I'm not going to stop talking about it. I also have another prepping video coming up that is going to be cool for budgeting, um, prepping on a budget type thing for you and your kids. I just don't want to waste this time, okay? Let's not waste this energy. Let's get going here. There may be oppositions. There may be some weird, uncomfortable, harsh realities when it comes to making these changes. But if you don't make this change, you're either going to let this time pass you by or the universe is going to step in and have to do it for you. And then it's even more uncomfortable. Just rip the band-aid off and get going. For some of us, it's just a new job, a new project, a new side business, a new mm, going back to school, things like that. Uh, and for others of us, it's leaving a job that maybe you have to really think about. Like maybe you're walking away from a pension. Maybe you're walking away from really great health insurance. These are the choices that we have to make. They're difficult. But listen to your gut on these things. Listen to spirit, God, the universe, creator of all that is. What do you feel in your heart? That's the direction we need to go. And this energy is just way better than anything we've had in the last month or so. Especially Jupiter just came back direct and I just love Jupiter. And it's not always great but it's always expanded. 
it's always more. It's always a broadening of horizons and learning lessons. So, this Aquarian energy is strong. Saturn with the clap back, you know? And Jupiter's here, bringing it into full effect. Saturn's been waiting on Jupiter to come direct. Saturn has plans for you. Saturn has plans for us. Are we going to work towards that energy? Saturn rewards hard work and effort. Saturn rewards time put in. Jupiter is here to expand on that and hopefully protect us from some negative aspects which could come in from karma depending on your life or what choices you've made. Saturn is about karma and Jupiter normally brings gifts. They're together now so he's either going to expand on the karma <laughs> and make it really great or really bad <laughs> or he's going to be kind of like a shield from the karma. Either way, I feel really good blessings coming for everyone. Whether it's hard in the beginning, a little bit harsh, a little bit uncomfortable, and then you feel into it and realize, oh, this is my path. This is what I'm meant to be doing. You know, because so many people are realizing, I didn't come here to work a nine to five. You're a spiritual being, you are divine. You came here for a purpose. You came here for a divine mission, a job. Who are you helping? Who are you serving? Where does your energy go? At the end of the day, we want to be able to be in service to others, in service to humanity as a whole, be giving and uplifting to this collective consciousness. And that happens through you and me each day, making little progressive steps, meditating, eating better, drinking pure purified distilled water, uh, listening to higher vibration music, staying in a high vibration, still fighting for the things that you want. Okay, conflict doesn't always have to be negative. Good things can come out of conflict and chaos. And so it's like finding order. It's like creating order right now. Time management, organizing, figure out the steps that need to be made or maybe some of you already started them. But just know right now you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You didn't come here to work a boring nine to five. You didn't come for some lame old toxic relationship you've been wanting out of for the last 10 years. You came here to make moves, to shift this planet, to shift this collective, and to grow this consciousness. Ever expanding this consciousness so humanity can rise and we can get out of this slave whatever you want to call it matrix whatever exit the matrix with me let's move towards something more positive I know I want to get more cards but I just feel like I have so much to say in this video <laughs> We're getting out of here, okay? Whether they like it or not, we're getting out. And the sooner the better, but the, the speed is up to us. How fast it happens is up to us. Thank you. Four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant rewards for hard work. What did I just say? Thank you, Saturn and Jupiter. Release yourself from burdensome situations. What did I just say? The things we don't need the toxic crap is gone now. It's falling away. Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Thank you, Spirit. This is really this is really all about Aquarian energy, even though we have this this Aries here. So Jupiter is in trying. I believe it's in trying. Um to Venus. And the moon? <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Or maybe it's in trying to Mars. I just forgot, actually. So, anyways, there is a trine with Jupiter, okay, which is a good thing. And it might be Mars, so that we're making decisions. You are gonna have to make action, to do action, take some form of action here towards what you want. The moon. I what? 18, Archangel. Haniel, the opportunity to improve your plans. This is the new beginning. This is the chance we have now to start over. The new year, the kickoff, 
whatever you want to call it. It's brand new and it's here now. And what are you going to do with it? The moon. It's telling you right now. The Aries moon is telling you right now with this moon card, you have an opportunity now to improve your life, to start over, to improve your plans, to go back over your plans, to reorganize, to, to break down your time during your day and really look at that time management. Seven to eight, coffee, exercise, eight to nine, whatever, go to work. I don't know what you're gonna do, but we have to start making these changes. We have to. Nothing good is going to come out of being stuck in the same repetitive cycle. Yeah, I wish I could change. I want to change. Oh, I didn't make a change. And now I'm stuck in the same pattern. Oh, I want to make a change. I should really try to do that more. Just do it. This energy is here to just push us to do it. Just do it. Just do it. I'm going to do it. I've been doing it. Writing down my day. Every single thing needs to be in, in alignment. Okay? So break it down. Time management is huge for this or it's going to waste waste you away. These next two months are going to just be just gone in the wind. Okay, if you don't sit down and figure out what you're going to do and implement it. Because you're either going to be overly stimulated, overly worked and run down for the next two months. Or you can be calm and collected and have a plan. This is your chance now. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Yes, what are we fighting for? Check yourself every now and then. What is it that I want? Is that best for everyone? Does that only serve me? How are you serving humanity? Listen to your intuition. The ego makes up stuff. It's going to tell you crap all day long. But we don't want to hear that. That gets you in trouble. The ego fights for you. It fights for your survival. And yes, it is beneficial at times. Right now, talking about life changes, things that are gonna bring a brand new beginning for humanity, positive change, that comes from God. That comes from your intuition. Maybe it's something that you've always wanted to do. That, you know, you're finally getting the oomph or the motivation to do. Maybe it's something you never thought you would do. It doesn't feel like you, it doesn't seem like you at all. But it feels right now. Maybe that's, that's the change that needs to be made. Face your fears and grow stronger. Wow. Yeah. And you know what the moon in tarot, the moon represents fear. It represents illusion and things that are hidden. The stories that we tell ourselves. Uh, and just how we feel emotionally. Sometimes we have those negative thought patterns, and those fears that keep coming up, and, and those are the reasons why we don't make change. Those are the reasons why we don't want to do anything about it. We have reason to celebrate. Things are starting to move forward now. Things are starting to move in a more positive direction. We cannot stop now. We cannot stop what is happening. All these people standing in their power, refusing. You know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if you lose your job. It doesn't matter if you lose your pension. It doesn't matter. It's like that in the Bible it says, um, gain the whole world and lose your soul. Right? What are you willing to lose right now? We gotta be willing to sacrifice something. We have to be willing to lose something. And it's gotta be whatever it is this matrix has to offer. Because your soul, your, your spirit, spark of God, whatever that you believe lives in you, that intuition is not gonna steer you wrong. That intuition is gonna tell you to fight for your soul, to fight for divine higher consciousness for the entire planet. If you're telling people you gotta do this, you gotta blah blah blah, that's not doing it. That's not it, baby. If you're around people like that, let them go. Get them out of your life. No more oppression, no more other people trying to control what other people say and do. That's not freedom. And that's not America. 
And I'm not a nationalist, you know? That might offend some people. I'm not really, I don't consider myself a patriot. I, I feel lucky to be born where I was. But to me, there should be no borders. To me, we're all one, so that doesn't matter to me. I don't worry about one nation over another and all that. I want us all to be happy and live together and share resources and whatever. And I think that's how we were meant to live, not greed and power and territory and, you know, fighting for land and things. That, like, you don't own this land. I don't own this land. None of y'all own this land. I don't get it. But some of you, that's still meaningful to you. And so I get that, okay? But the point is, when you're supposed to have freedom, you're supposed to be the land of the free, and you're not, and censorship is at an all-time high, we need to get this shit in check, right? Check it. Check yourself. Check your friends. Get rid of those friends. <laughs> Find your soul tribe now. Think about the things you have to celebrate. Think about what's to come. Think about the positivity that we have to come. I did a reading before this on my phone because my battery was dead on here. And um, it was from this deck. And I was doing a reading for this moon. And this card, Orphaned, came out. I'm just going to read the ones that came out because it might be beneficial to somebody. Orphaned. We may have felt like for some time we were powerless. We may have really felt abandoned. By God, by our government, by whoever. We never thought we would see this time. Uh, you know, for some of you, maybe you're feeling abandoned by a loved one, by your family, by your friends, who you thought would always have your back. These things happen for a reason. Let them go. Okay? Also, time for a nap came out in reverse. It's number 24, if that matters to you. Five is the number of the orphan card. Five brings change. Okay, 24, time for a nap. It was in reverse, so Spirit is saying, let's get going here. I'm giving you this energy now to ramp up this, this thing for humanity. To speak your truth. To stand up for yourself. To make the change. To have the courage to take initiative and make the change. Then we had chaos and conflict, number 33, which is a master number. Chaos and conflict, we do have chaos, but good things are coming out of it. We're realizing who we really are, what we're willing to fight for, and we're seeing it in them too, who they really are. What is it they're fighting for? Or what is it that they're not willing to fight for? And then, not this one, not this one, this one. Number three, between worlds, okay? And this is what this is where we are right now. We're leaving behind this glum, disgusting place that we've been. We're moving now towards this brand new world. So we're in between. We're still in uncertain times. We still can't really see how it's going to end up. We can't see these plans that we have for ourselves and the changes we're making. We can't really see how it's going to come together. But we know if we're listening to our intuition that we're being guided by something higher, by the divine, by the creator of all that is, that lives in you, that lives in me. And the more we raise our vibration, we stay in that high vibration, this new world becomes a reality. This light at the end of the tunnel that we can see better for ourselves, better for humanity, this is where we wanna be, this is where we wanna go. So we're letting go of this negativity, which means everything we once knew has to fall away. All the government systems, all of our money systems, where we find value. That's what this year's been about. That's what the last few years have been about and the years to come with Uranus and Taurus. It's about finding value in other things, not the things that this world is showing you. That's why I'm saying new skills, grow your own food, make your own clothes, uh, learn how to distill water, learn how to um, make a fire build a house, woodworking. There's so many skills, you know, metal, whatever people do with metal, welding. <laughs> There's so many things that, that we could be doing instead of on our phones, instead of 
you know, watching Netflix or whatever people are doing. Let's enjoy nature. Let's get back to the basics. Let's encourage one another. Let's stand up for our rights and our freedoms. Let's learn new skills and trades. Let's find what is real value to you. What do you need in this life? Food, water, shelter, family, health. Get, buy some books on, on herbal, you know, medicines, whatever. Natural healing sources. Meditation. Plant a garden. These are the real life things that bring you joy and happiness. When you're out in the sun, vitamin D, feeling good, using, the, using these muscles, you know? I hope you guys really use this energy and put it, put it to work, okay? We got a few days of this, you got until Friday to make something happen for yourself. Don't waste not one day organizing, time management, what changes are you making? Let's make it happen. Bad habits, gone. Shitty people, gone. You hate your job, it's gone too, okay? Let's just do it all right now. So we can start next year. Incredible, we're coming into eclipse season here soon in December. Jupiter's gonna be in Aries for most of next year. It's a new cycle, a new change. It's not gonna get much easier but we're making progress, you know? It's like we're drilling through. We got more to drill, but we can see now, if we look back, we can see we're starting to make a dent. We're starting to make progress. Can't stop now. We're gonna keep pushing through. We're creating this shift. The cosmic energy is creating this shift. The sun, our galactic sun, is creating the shift for us and our creator. We gotta do our job here on the ground. I know you're doing your job. I'm gonna try to do mine. I'll see you guys in the next video.